Hi everyone, welcome to our hair transplant journey. And today is my update for you for two weeks. So it's a little bit over two weeks now. Um, I actually did my hair transplant last December 23rd and it's already January 9th. So it's basically 18 days, so a little bit over two weeks. But last Tuesday um, on January 4, they actually took off the stitches on my suture line. So I'll show you how that looks like. But before that, let me actually show you how everything looks like for our update. Yes. So this is actually how our grafted area looks like. You can actually see that most of the scabs and crusts have fallen. But if you actually like look closer to my scalp, you can actually see that it's really dry. That is because I'm only using a shampoo so far. But I've been given a go signal that I can actually start using a conditioner already. And not just that, I can also start um, basically taking my vitamins as well. If you take biotin or things like that. And um, in terms of how I rinse off my sham my hair, when I actually shampoo my hair, I actually still rinse off my hair uh, with like a tub with lukewarm water because I cannot really use the shower head until after two more weeks. So it's basically four weeks after your hair transplant. And then when it comes to how my head feels, um, certain areas still feels a little bit numb. And then where they actually took off the stitches on my suture line, it still feels um, a little bit tender. Now, let me actually show you how the suture line looks, like where they took off the stitches. I don't think they're completely dried yet. So this is the back. This is the side. Hopefully you can actually see that, like the wound really actually hasn't dried up yet. So I really don't want to like take it off. If you see that now let me do the other side i know that it kind of may be looking gross but i really would like to be honest and transparent for you to have an idea about a patient's development or what to expect this is how it looks like on this side and you also know that after your surgery first you also experience some swollenness right on top of the forehead and then it goes down and then after the swollenness you were you will actually experience some bruising so my bruising has also gone down i mean thank goodness it's not already on it's not on my face anymore but i still have bruising right on my neck it's really dark on this side and i still have some bruising right on this side it's not painful but it's just part of the process and you can see again still that I still have hair and it's been 18 days. But some of the new hairs that's been implanted on the surface are expected to fall out on the second and third month. Um, but on the fourth month, hopefully new hairs will sprout and bloom. So please put me in your good thoughts. So there, I really just wanted to be honest about our journey. Just keeping you posted on what's going on. But I can actually sleep normal now as well. I can sleep with my head on the sides, my face right facing the pillow. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm back to work. And as you know, if you're wondering if I walk outside like this, I don't. I actually wear a hat. Right indoors, I actually wear a loose hat, like a baseball cap. But outside, I actually bought this. Again, I showed you this last time. Like a big winter hat with faux fur in it. And I'm usually a size small or medium. But this is a large to XL just so that our scalp can still breathe so yeah so I'm pretty happy with the hairline and I'm really just hoping that you know what that it will like blossom beautifully so there you have it if you have any questions about your hair transplant journey please write down your question in the comment section below and if you've done your hair transplant um what has been your experience as well on your second week or so please let me know so we can exchange thoughts again my name is Alicat Castle thank you so much for being here with me and hearing um a patient's point of view on her tra hair transplant surgery especially as a transgender woman. I'll see you all again soon. Thank you so much for being here with us on Transverse TV. Love you. Bye!